Good morning, everybody. Smart Cowboy here. You see Mr. Bolick leaving. We are at IHOP. Had some breakfast this morning. Today is June the 17th, 2017 at 318 in the morning. So we had a little breakfast this morning. Uh, we have a thing uh, when we go to uh, meet up for breakfast. We, we call it the mandate. And uh, so it was my turn to pay, but uh, whatever. And uh, looks like we got another Bergman. Looks like a 400. Let's see here. Yes, yeah, a 400. Very nice. Very nice. It's either a 400 or a 200. I think it's a 400. Another Bergman rider. So now I have to head on to the Hacienda and uh, go to the stores and all that good crap. Tomorrow is Father's Day. I would like to wish all the fathers out there a happy, happy Father's Day. And if your father is still with us, make sure that you take him out for supper or lunch or get him something or give him a call if he's out of state. Just uh, tell him how much you love him and how much that you appreciated his manly guidance as you were growing up. My dad passed away in 99. So uh, I may try to get out to the cemetery tomorrow and uh, visit his grave and pay my respects to dad to pop we call him pop he was really old school that man was but he uh, he worked hard and he tried to do what he could for the family we were we weren't uh, poor by by no means but uh, we weren't rich either so I'm in the generation where if you had a roof over your head, clothes on your back, and food on your stomach, you are blessed, and I've always been that way, and I will remain that way until my turn will come. But he did the best he could. He was uh, illiterate. He had maybe a third grade education. He could sign his name and add, subtract, and whatever. So... Uh, But uh, he, he worked by the sweat of his brow, and he did what he could do to support the family. And I've always tried to, I always tried to do my work ethic like my father did. Thank you, Pop. I appreciate all you did for me when I was growing up, and I hope I made you proud. So. On another note, uh, it's not too many more days left until, uh, don't even think about it. Thank you very much. Uh, not too many days left for my vacation. It'll be a working vacation. I'll work all stuff around the house getting ready for my granddaughter's uh, third birthday party. We're going to have that with uh, the fireworks display that Smyrna has. How you doing? That Smyrna has. So I've got to get everything ready. I've got to clean the concrete, fix the gate, uh, cut the yard, tear down the little dog pen back there just oodles and oodles and oodles of projects that I have to do uh, before July 3rd that's when we're having the uh, party in the uh, Smyrna fireworks show but taking a page from my own book Friday the 23rd will be Smyrna Cowboy Friday that means the Smyrna Cowboy 
yours truly talking here, is going to do any gum thing that I want to do. And that's going to be it. My plan is to get up really, 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 really early and uh, ride towards Chattanooga. And I want to find a restaurant with some uh, valleys and stuff and everything that's opened early and uh, eat breakfast and watch the sunrise at the mountains. Of course, uh, you have to remember, too, that uh, Chattanooga's in the eastern time zone, so they're an hour ahead of us. So I'm going to try to get up... Uh, I'm going to try to get up about 3.30, quarter to 4. And uh, get on the bike and uh, just head south. <laughs> and uh, find a restaurant on the way that... Uh, for breakfast that uh, you can see the sunrise and then I am going to take the back roads all through the southern Tennessee area to explore some new roads I've never been on and then at noon I am going to meet my biker brother Harley Trek at uh, Starbase Liberty at 1200 hours and then from there we shall rendezvous then we will go to B's restaurant and yes I did check and yes they are open <laughs> instead of last fall like on my Chattanooga run when they were closed on uh, Monday and Tuesday so we'll have a good lunch there at B's restaurant probably come back to his house and sit and chew a little fat and talk the bull and all that stuff and then I will probably take the super slab back to the Smyrna Cowboys Hacienda. That day on my vacation well besides Julia's birthday party that day is what I look forward to the most. If uh, you guys ever do the same, and gals, if you guys and gals ever do the same thing that I do most years is have a staycation and do projects that you've put off and put off and uh, I'll do that on vacation or I'll do that on vacation. You have got to have one day of that vacation to do whatever you want to do. Not whatever needs to be done but whatever you want to do. And I try to do that on every vacation that I take. Um, most, most of the time, it's a, a staycation, but like uh, last June, um, went down to the, to the Hootenanny. And of course, if you don't know what happened there, you just have to look back at my videos and you'll You'll find out. <laughs> You'll find out what I did. So, uh, like I say, looking forward to that. And then uh, then in July, July uh, 10th and 11th, like I said in my last video, I will be going down to Dill's Gaps to the Tale of the Dragon and uh, meet my Hootenanny brothers down there. Looking forward to meeting new faces and Seeing my old brothers again. Looking forward to that. I don't know why I turned my blinker on in that curve, but uh, I don't know. So really looking forward to that. I'm going to trailer the bike down there, and uh, this will be the first time that Gandalf's been on a trailer for any length of time. And I'm anxious to see how that trailer is going to do. So I guess that's about it. I've rambled long enough, I reckon. So this is a Smyrna Cowboy here in Smyrna, Tennessee. Wishing you and yours a good day. And until next time, adios.